waste it. All right, actor uh, Sherman uh, Hemsley uh, lives in uh, El Paso, Texas. He's a big hit, of course, on the Jeffersons, and they uh, passed away. Uh, I interviewed him. I think I had yeah. one of the last interviews with him. Roll the tape. When you went on with the Jeffersons, which was a spinoff, of course, of All in the Family, you didn't feel that, you know, this was a, a test case to see if African Americans can hold its, uh, you know, a, an NBC, what was it, a network slot? Mm -hmm. You didn't feel any of that at all? No, I didn't, you know, all I knew was I had a job, finally, permanent, you know, a regular job, you mm -hmm. know, as an actor, that's great, you know, I mean. And, and that uh, thing lasted, what, eight seasons? Yeah, and it was, I mean, the, the, the work was good, the writing was wonderful, the character, people I worked with was wonderful, I mean, Carol O'Connor, I worked with all in the family, that was beautiful, you know. Right, oh. That, and I learned, I'm, I'm glad I worked with them to learn the right way to do it. So when you, we spun off. You know what's interesting? Everybody remembers those programs. That'll mm -hmm. never happen again because mm -hmm. now there's so many channels. People, yeah. don't, I don't know what's on. <laughs> I really, I don't. I but you. when you say the Jeffersons, it's wheezy. Yeah. I mean, it's in the lexicon. Yeah. Everybody remembers that. Mm -hmm. The impact is tremendous. When people come up to you on the street, because you recognize them, mm -hmm. what do they say to you? George, where's Wheezy? Most of <laughs> Still. <laughs> Still. 20 years after, George, oh, where's Wheezy? Most people don't even know my real name. Say Sherman Hemsley. Oh, even I, after Amen? Yeah, even if I signed on my autograph, Sherman Hemsley said, oh, could you put George under there? All right, that was 14 <laughs> years ago, that interview. Um, and and uh, Mr. Hemsley was kind of um, not eccentric, but he, he didn't he live in Hollywood. He lived in Texas and wasn't around very much. Yeah. Now, you're younger, obviously, than me. Uh, almost everybody is it these days. But Quite did you younger. know this show? Did you, did you watch this show? Oh, my show? gosh. I love this show and I loved All in the Family. And the interesting thing about this show is that Sherman Hemsley was actually actually a Broadway actor. And Norman Lear, obviously the famous Norman Lear, had seen him on Broadway and said, I have a great part for you on All in the Family. And Hemsley said, no, no, no. And he waited for two years. Norman Lear saved that spot for him. He, Hemsley finally said yes, and we know what happened. But another interesting thing, you know, Wheezy, Isabel Sanford, they had such great chemistry on the show. She, in real life, was actually 20 years older than he was. But the audience has never figured that out. And the other thing about Hemsley was that he said in an, in an interview, I think it was back in 96, he said, I am nothing like this guy. I'm just a peace-loving, hippie kind of guy. Nothing at all. Well, like, like the George Cosby Jefferson. Show, though, this show uh, kind of mainstreamed uh, integration. I mean, it was uh, you know Carol O'Connor who was the bigot, and then then you bring in yeah. uh, George Jefferson who matched him like this. And I thought it was very healthy, and it was it it, it got people affectionate uh, toward other people that they might not understand. So that's what the uh, they were. They Go ahead. They were both ignorant in their own ways, but they had charm in their own ways. And, you know, who? Uh, that was the first time an African-American guy was able to really criticize a white guy on television. There you go. All right, Juliet Huddy in L.A. this evening. Factor tip of the day in a moment.